Konnichiwa bitches, Fangirl Sardas. This is my first film deviant review. I'm really excited. And I am reviewing the movie called Murders. Now this movie begins. We are in an isolated, abandoned looking building. And inside a little girl that's been beaten to shit and back. She escapes. And we see her running down the street, escaping from her torture. We found out this girl's name is Lucy. Hmm. Goes in the future, and we are in the house of normal looking family, mom and dad, teenage kids, bratty teenage kids. And all of a sudden Lucy is an adult busts to the door and just lays all those fuckers out out of nowhere. Then enters another girl, which is Lucy's friend Anna. No. The mother survives the attack, but Lucy kinda finds her and just <laughs> takes the bitch out. When Anna was like, why the fuck did you just kill this whole family? Lucy's like, they were the people that tortured me when I was little. It goes back to their past in the orphanage where the two became friends. And you start to realize that Lucy hallucinates a very disturbing looking young woman covered in scars and just starved and all that stuff, attacking her. And apparently this vision that was manifested from the guilt of... Lucy leaving another one of the victim girls behind when she was little, has followed her into her life as an adult. Because later we see Lucy get attacked by the same vision that haunts her ever since she was little. Seeing this vision for the last time, she decides to take her own life. Well, after Anna mourns her friend, she goes back in the house and discovers a secret passage in the house. Hmm. She goes in the secret pack of passage and discovers another woman who has this bizarre contraption on her face. Um, she's all starved looking, um, shit's been beaten out of her. She tries to help the chick, but the chick is absolutely insane from all the torture and unspeakable pain that she's been through. There's even a scene where this chick is like ramming her head on the wall, and then I didn't like it that much because it's kind of creepy. Oh no, all of a sudden, these people bust through and just kill this chick. And I was like, well, WTF, what just happened? Well, she is captured and she put in the same secret area that she found the fucked up chick. And this is where Mademoiselle enters. Now, Mademoiselle is an elderly lady and she explains to Anna that they are a group who torture women to a point where they may see the afterlife and then tell them what they see. Also, there's Mars. She gives her examples of people, women in history who have been tortured and then in their last moments of their life they have a vision as they can see the afterlife. So, the torture scene then begins. They beat the shit out of Anna, they shave her head, they humiliate her, they do these unspeakable things to her over um unannounced amount of time. And you start to learn that Anna's getting closer to seeing the afterlife than any victim they've ever had. So everybody's starting to get excited in this little fucked up cult type deal. So, at the end, they take Anna and they actually fillet her alive. Now, since Anna is the closest they've ever gotten to seeing what's in the afterlife, they have a little party and we'll get together because that's what you do when you torture somebody. You have a party. Well, before the party starts, Mademoiselle hears that Anna has been fled alive and she has that look that she can see into the afterlife. So Mademoiselle goes to Anna and says, Anna, tell me what you're seeing. And all you see is Anna whisper in her ear. Well, Mademoiselle goes back to her room. One of the party guests goes, knocks on her door and says, you know, Mademoiselle, are you ready? And you just see her sitting there. And... She says that Anna has made it. Anna has seen the afterlife. And he's like, Mademoiselle, what'd she see? And Mademoiselle told him to keep doubting and then puts a pistol in her mouth and pulls the trigger, killing herself. So, you never really find out what Anna sees. It's all up to your imagination, which I think is kind of scary in itself. So, go watch it, because I told you so. Now, I need to hurry up and clean the kitchen, because there's blood everywhere, 
And I need to clean it before Fangirl Sam gets home and gets suspicious. So, sign off. Bye bye now. C'est eux, Anna. T'as pu les voir? Ils ont changé, mais c'est eux.